In this training module, you'll be learning how to drive this ES44C4 locomotive in BNSF railway livery. The ES44C4 is the fourth generation of the GE Evolution series. It started production in 2009 and continued to be built until 2015. Rated at 4,400 horsepower, these beasts are primarily used for heavy freight and intermodal traffic. When you're ready to begin, climb aboard. Sit in the engineer's seat. Now you'll go through the steps needed to take over this locomotive. Firstly, you will need to set the generator field switch. This needs to be enabled for the throttle to control the power of the train. This locomotive requires the reverser handle to be inserted before operation. The reverser determines the direction of travel. Now switch the front headlights on. Regardless of the time of day or weather, all locomotives must have their headlights on. Getting moving, it's worth remembering the following sequence. Independent on, auto off, throttle on, independent off. Let's go through that slowly and understand why. 
First, fully apply the independent brake. Now, this will ensure that regardless of anything else, your train won't move. Next, fully release the automatic brake. This will release the brakes on the rest of the train, but you won't go anywhere because those independent brakes are holding you. Now, apply a small amount of throttle and verify that power is generated. Finally, release the independent brake and you'll start moving. This is a great practice to get used to because it'll help you with two key areas. The first is that you verify that the train will take power before you release the brakes. You don't want to find yourself without power and having to hurriedly put the brakes back on. Uh, the second is that having power applied as you release the independent brakes ensures that you won't roll backwards. On steeper hill starts, you may even need to start with more power. And this is something you can practice and get used to as you find yourself out on the railroad. If you have any locomotives on the rear of the train behind freight cars, you can press the banking comms button to enable radio communications with those remote units. This will ensure that they operate their throttle and brakes in unison with your own locomotive, giving you much needed extra control on your journey. Now press it now just to get practice, even though there aren't any connected. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. Come to a stop in the indicated position using the independent brake. Independent brakes apply only to the locomotives in the formation and are much faster to apply and release than the automatic brake, which operates on the entire train. Change direction with a the reverser, then change the junction indicated. 
either by walking over to it or using the map. Before proceeding, check the two couplers are in the right position to allow for automatic coupling. Look at the rear coupler on your train and ensure it's open. Operate the cut bar if it is closed to release it. Next, walk over to the freight cars you're going to couple to and check their coupler knuckle is open too. Operate the cut bar here to open the knuckle. Before coupling cars, always check the knuckles are open, or you'll just bounce right off. Okay, the junction is correctly aligned and the cars are ready to couple. 
A couple up to the cars by gently driving into them at a slow speed. And most freight uses automatic knuckle couplers, so they will automatically couple once they connect. If your speed is too high, you risk derailing when coupling. Apply some brakes to slow your approach. Hey, nice work. Now change direction with the reverser and move the train forward into the indicated siding. Remember to apply a little power before releasing brakes. While it's not strictly necessary in the training center, this is the time to start forming great habits. Since you have freight cars coupled, you should slow down using the automatic brake and get the extra braking effort from those freight cars. The automatic brake applies brakes throughout the entire train. Uncouple the cars either by using the external camera or by walking to the cars on foot.
That's it for this training module.